Hello everybody, this is Michael Mack with Electric Auto Shop and I'm here with Craig Dusing of EV Solutions. We're sitting here in Craig's shop in Sterling, Illinois where we did the video work for your program. We've had a great time putting this project together and hopefully uh, we're providing some good information and some good video here that helps you uh, accomplish the conversion. And to lift it, from that point on, the gas assist take over. This is a Warp 9 uh, 9 inch series 1 DC motor, uh, double shafted, has a uh, inch and an eighth diameter drive shaft and an inch diameter commutator end shaft. Uh, this is a protective sleeve that's on the shaft to protect it during shipping so we're going to remove that. And what we're going to do is we're going to just install the drive coupler. The motor coupler assembly consists of the steel machine coupler and it mates to a taper lock hub. The steel taper lock hub is also fitted with an Allen locking screw as an extra safety precaution which will lock the... The next step in the assembly sequence is to attach the uh, cast adapter. This is the adapter that will bolt the 9 inch motor on the face to the original S10 transmission on the back. This adapter has been designed to locate everything properly has hardened and uh, precise machine dowel pins to match to the transmission um, and then the bolt holes will bolt everything together. A couple other features you could notice on your uh, new adapter and motor we've got uh, the adapter plate labeled this is a 2.2 liter four cylinder to a warp 9 with a clutch um, that's the system that we're using here uh, these four bolts just need to be bolted up tight they don't need to be torqued to a specific uh, uh, specification but they need to be bolted up tight uh, with lock washers and our next step is we're going to attach the motor now to a 12 volt charger and we're going to spin this motor up just as a test spin uh, to check the run out and the accuracy on this couple what are you looking for there with this just uh, motion to, I'm looking to see that there's no wobble and that everything's uh, running true and in and round that there's no out of roundness uh, suggests that we always spin up a, a new assembly before it's put in the vehicle that wraps up our pre-assembly of the control circuit enclosure To review, we installed a Curtis PB6 pot box on the end of the enclosure, two Curtis SW200 main contactors, two 12-volt control circuit terminal strips, and the 12, the high-voltage KLK20 fuse block and holder. This concludes our session on assembling the control circuit enclosure box. Here's the Warp 9 transmission assembly uh, installed in a vehicle. Go ahead and spot the four mount leg locations. We use a center punch and spot through the uh, existing legs. To install the throttle cable assembly, first we'll mount the modified vehicle uh, throttle cable bracket to the control enclosure box. Uh, the tubing protects the cables against scuffs, rocks, and other abrasions. To secure the cable, we attach rubber coated steel. Uh, clamps to the vehicle. The main battery pack is connected to the primary and secondary contactors through the Anderson SB350 disconnect. The Anderson SB350 disconnect is a safe means to disconnect battery pack voltage and it's mounted on top of the control circuit enclosure lid so that it must be disconnected before the lid can be opened. Once the controller is bolted into position the battery cable leads from the motor can be connected to the motor controller the cable leads from motor terminal S1 is connected to controller terminal M negative and the lead from motor A1 is connected to the motor controller terminal B positive. The connections are made with 5 16 18 cap screws with flat washers, lock washers and nuts. Make sure the connections are tightened securely and we'll add the cable protective boots later as the other connections are made. With the main battery pack disconnected, we can conduct a first time key on test. As the key is initially turned on, the main primary contactor will engage and the vacuum pump will engage. Well, this wraps up our training session, so 
Good luck with your conversion project, and we wish you the best. Uh, thanks again for being involved in the program, and have fun with it. You'll have a great time putting it together, and uh, good luck. Yeah, good luck with your conversion, and enjoy.